What's up, party animals? My name is Kezi, and today we're going to be talking about coyotes. And not just any coyote, one that's actually pretty local and near and dear to my community. This coyote pops up on Twitter from time to time and is probably one of, like, my area's most famous coyotes. Probably. So this coyote was found on the Max Rail car um, and the airport. A lot of wilderness out there, big place, need a lot of room to land. Ended up getting onto the Max Rail car of that that went from the airport to downtown Portland, um, and you know the the transit systems, yay, city life. And so this coyote was found, um, freaked out a bunch of people, ended up getting just shooed away and went back into the forest. But it left a huge impact because this coyote didn't leave before getting a photo taken and ending up in the newspaper. Specifically, that coyote. And this coyote has a song by a group known as Sleater Kinney. And this group wrote a song called Light Rail Coyote. Uh, link to it in the description, but it was a punk rock kind of edgy song about the scene of Portland and the life of a, you know, a, effectively a wild animal. Now, it was, you know, more tied in with human life, you know, people in punks, baggy clothes, strip clubs, you know, hipster life, that, that, that Portland vibe that you think. That's the song about it. And one of the things that that song really took to heart was that it was, it got big. Um, the album, maybe not that song specifically, but the album took off. And so that song is near and dear to a lot of people. And that song, you know, it, it, it stopped being localized to that one area, spread out among the whole, you know, music scene. And many years later, it spread to someone, a uh, group, Modest Mouse. And they actually took a, I hope, a coyote in you know, some sort of safe way and didn't just grab one out of the woods. Um, but they got a coyote and they put them on the Max Rail car for a video. And there's another link in the description of this, this coyote as well. And it is such a moving video and it references that past event um, of, of the coyote getting on at the airport. And it's such a it's such a beautifully done video. Give it a watch. Um, it's it's really pretty. I cried to it a lot just because the story. This one doesn't just talk about you know Portland life, but life in general and what it feels to be a you know this 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 thing in this system that doesn't really treat you as alive. You know, a coyote in a city is worse than a than homeless because you aren't even respected as a human being. You're an animal, and that's, that's not a good place to be. You can just get shot and killed, and there will be <laughs> no reports at all. Animals are not treated well in society. The point that's being made here is that, you know, a lot of, a lot of people in day-to-day -day life feel like that, feel like that they aren't even being treated as human anymore. And, and that was something that I experienced at my last job, where I felt like I was just a number in a machine. And it was making me mad, it was making me miserable, and I didn't feel alive at all whatsoever. So I'm not there anymore. But that's something that I think is, is something that... I guess that ties into something else I wanted to bring up, which is find your people. You know, one of the things that drove me absolutely crazy was feeling like I was just a bit in a computer. You know, I'm not that. I, I have people that I can talk to. I want to talk to people. I want to socialize. I want to woo with the moon with others. And you can't do that if no one wants to do it with you. And that's something that's been hurting me a lot, especially recently, is I just haven't been around my people. You know, I felt like a coyote in a city of humans. And while most of the time that's fairly true, most of the time, you know, even when an actual coyote ends up in the city, it ends up on the news. And this isn't the only time a coyote's been found in a place that's weird, but this is the closest a coyote has been to me. Um, if I don't make a video before it happens, I wanted to make a quick update. I'm going to be at Midwest Fur Fest. So come find me, come say hi. I'm happy to give hugs, photos, all of it. Um, just don't uh, hurt me. Like I'm getting a little nervous because I'm like, oh gosh, there's actually people uh, who, who want to see me there. I don't 
there's like a lot of you who could possibly view this video. So, hi. Anyway, um, that's about it. Thanks so much for watching. Bye-bye.